Good morning, my fellow human beings, dogs and cats. It's Monday morning, we're making the dangerous journey into work. And I'm not joking, it's a dangerous journey. The way people drive out here, especially on Mondays, nobody wants to be out there on Mondays. They're all going way over the speed limit, all making dangerous passes. You've heard the whole spiel before, you know how it is. Let's keep our eyes open, let's get to the truck. We have two trips into the US today to do. We're going to Thief River Falls twice. We'll be crossing into Minnesota uh, from Tolstoy, Manitoba into Lancaster, Minnesota. We're going back and forth there twice. Oh man, Woo! Reset the tripometer. I reset my tripometer every Monday. And see how many kilometers I I drive every week. Oh, clean, fresh laundry. A brand new week. Two trips to the U.S. today yet. I'll lock my truck doors behind me. There we go. All right. We gotta go find a step deck trailer and pull it with us. Let's go find one. I think I found one on the way in already. I think it's gonna work just perfect. It's gonna be a little bit of a long day today, so. I'm trying to get it done as fast as we can. It's raining, kinda caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it to be raining. I walked the dogs this morning. I come outside, it was just pouring. Got soaked first thing in the morning. That was fun. <laughs> Good thing we're gonna be in the truck most of the day today. Just on the other side of this pole trailer, there's a tandem step deck. I'm gonna take it with me. Right there. Is that one of ours? Oh wait, no, that's an owner-operator trailer. Nope, can't take that one then. That one doesn't belong to us. Okay. Guess I didn't look closely enough when I was... Oh, there's another one over there. Nope, that one's got something on it. Okay, okay. Don't hit the shirt. The only other step decks I saw back here were triaxle, so I guess we're taking a triaxle. Doesn't really matter either way. See, if I had a choice, I was going to take a tandem. Haha! 402 DT. I choose you. around the other side see the lights working under here already there you go three axles we don't need three we only need two but since we don't have two we'll take three does that make sense they all have premium compressed air my favorite brake lights are working tail lights are working signals are working license plate light is working Tires once again compressed, filled with the best air of Manitoba. Lights are working. Fantastico. That's not leaking, that's just adjusting. First, we'll need some go go juice. Running a little low, and uh, once again, I didn't 
fuel up at the end of last week because I'm like, oh, I'll just do it Monday morning. No worries. Turns out there's no fuel stops along the 59 highway all the way to Thief River Falls. And I got to do that twice. That's about 10 hours of driving today at least, approximately. And I uh, won't have enough fuel to do it all. So I had to swing past the flying hook out here in St. Agath real quick and fill her up so I don't get stranded. That'd be embarrassing. You know, this truck may be old, may have some rust on it. it. It may have a lot of rust on it. It may have a lot of dirt on it and it may not be clean and shiny, but you know what the best part about this truck is? No DEF. I saw a truck just similar to this. It was a day cab extended wheelbase at the truck show I was at on Saturday. I showed it in the in the vlog there at the end in that in those uh, that, that picture slideshow at the end. I'm sure you saw it. it was the blue day cab. I took a ton of pictures of it and it's for sale. I dream. I'm a dreamer. I'd love to have a nice shiny truck. I take it to truck shows like that. It's a nice truck, but in all honesty, if they're going to uh, get new trucks for us uh, city guys, and I had any say in it at all, if they asked me my opinion, I'd probably ask for like a little little sleeper. It doesn't have to be a full-size sleeper, but a small sleeper put on the back of the truck, just in case I need to do an overnight, and then I got a sleeper behind the truck right away. And that one didn't have it, it was just a day cab, so. Morning. I'm good. Final amount was eight hundred and eighty dollars and sixty-seven cents. Six hundred and eighty-three liters. She was thirsty. You want to know what that is in American speak? Because these are these are the Canadian dollars. The Americans they have their own dollars. I don't know why our currency is called the the, the same thing. American dollars, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars, and then you have the British. Pounds. At least you know when you're talking about pounds, you're talking about the UK. Whenever I'm talking about dollars, I always have to like clarify, that's Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars. Uh, let's see here. 880, 67, right? What you do is CAD, that, that stands for uh, Canadian dollars to USD, that stands for US dollars. It equals $685.48 United States money. The exchange rate right now looks to be 78 cents US equals $1 Canadian. If you didn't know, now you know. Buckle myself in so I don't fall out. Okay. Yes, I took 15 minutes to fuel. <laughs> we needed a lot of fuel. All right. So the fuel price here for diesel is a dollar twenty-eight point nine. So a dollar twenty-nine per per liter for diesel here in Manitoba today. Let's get out of here. Okay. Now we got to get back over to the 59. Uh, this is why you should always fuel on Friday. And in wintertime, I fuel every day because I don't want my fuel tanks to get too low because then I'll have problems with my uh, condensation building in my fuel tanks. And then that could lead to fuel gelling when it gets really cold. And then your truck stalls and you're cold, really cold. But for the summertime, I can usually get away with just fueling once a week for the work I do. And I usually do that like on Friday so that I come to work on Monday morning with a full tank of fuel, right? For whatever reason, I forget what we did on Friday. I guess I didn't have the time or I, I couldn't get it fueled up. I'm like, oh, I'll do it Monday morning. So here we are, Monday morning. Officially off to the races.
This is mine right here. Load numero uno. Load number one for today. Getting ready for winter. It's coming, I can feel it. I don't know what tipped me off, but something tells me that winter is coming. I dropped my empty in the empty part of the lot where they load them. This needs to come home with me. Somebody's getting some new toys. Well, let me tell you, I wish it was me. One day, everything is on hold. All new toys, everything's on hold until we build our house. That's most important, build the house. That is an asset that will appreciate and make money for us and gain value as long as things go the way they should. But really, who am I to tell you what to do with your money? If you want one of those right now, and you're renting, you don't have a house yet, but you want one of these, <laughs> go for it, man. Gives me something to do. Go for it, you do what you wanna do. You don't have to listen to me, I'm just some guy on the internet. This highway is really nice. <laughs> this is Highway 59, that's what we're uh, spending our day on today, up and down Highway 59. It's about 200 kilometers, or 160 miles or so. That's right. 120 miles? About 120 miles, or 200 kilometers, one direction, so back and forth twice. Right now we're on the Canadian side, and we actually have a better highway on this side than on the American side. They just spent a whole bunch of time and money under this one, so they did a good job. Will and I rode up this highway uh, on our bikes this weekend. And when you're on the motorcycle, you can get a little bit of a closer look here, a little bit closer to the highway. I, I have to admit, you know what, they did a better job than, than I've seen done in the past up here, so. This highway takes us, uh, I'm north of St. Pierre right now in Manitoba. I didn't take Diesel with me today. It was Britt's day off, she doesn't work today, so I figured, you know, it's gonna be a long day for me. I figured instead of, you know, Diesel hanging out with me here in the truck, we could, uh, I could just leave him at home and he can run around outside. He'll probably be playing outside most of the day and be there with all his brothers and with Brent. We're empty. Time for round two. Let's go. taking now. So let's quickly drop this hook up to that one.
Okay. That was a long day. We gotta be back here, ready to go in the morning. So better get home and go straight to bed. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. Hope to see you here tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe.